Hello and welcome to another video for Linmap.net. Today I'm going to look at three distributions or three variants of one distribution and as you can see that's Manjaro. So first up I'm going to boot the daily image of Manjaro Lomiri and after that I'm going to have a look at Manjaro Fosh and then finally at Manjaro Plasma Mobile because well that's going to be the default OS on the Pine phone uh, once it ships again after now community editions are finally over. So these all are dev builds from today, February 18th, 2021. And let's see how they do. Now, this is the first boot of Mandara Lomiri. I think I'm going to skip that first boot for the other two. And I will cut this out to make it shorter. Let's just look at the real stuff. Who cares how long first boot takes, right? So this looks like it's almost there. So I last looked at Manjaro Lumiri, I think, um, about a month ago. So it's been a while. And this again is not one of their sort of finished builds, but just the daily image, which they started doing some time ago. And I was told that these daily images are especially great. And that's why I'm having a look at them. Okay, now here we go. This is looking good. So let's see, there's my Linmob Wi Fi network. And yeah, it's connected. Okay. So then I think uh, next thing is enter your city. Well, I'm going to enter Berlin because I'm in Germany. And there we go. I'm not in Berlin actually, but yeah, as long as the time zone matches. Preferred name is, I don't know, maybe Lomiri. And let's get started. Okay, so this is the first one thing what tells you oh, you have to swipe down like this to see that stuff, and then the left edge to see the up drawer. And I think finally this year for multitasking. So let's start that browser. It seems fairly quick. Keep in mind this is running from SD card. So it could be slow, but I would say it really isn't. Okay. There is the browser. And let's open my blog. Yeah, that's okay. But then my blog is always uh, rather smooth because it's a very lightweight site. So yesterday I did a live stream and I then I demoed um, the register com in uh, a bunch of browsers on the Librem 5 and the Pine phone. And yeah, so, but that's also looking okay-ish, I think, yeah. Now, what else is installed? Well, there's not much. Um, megapixels is, of course, the GTK app, and it doesn't seem to work, but I think with the later kernels, megapixels has been a bit flaky generally. Um, let's do a second start and see if it works then. Yeah, no, no dice. Also, maybe let's have a look at what kernel this thing is actually running. To that, we open the terminal app and run uname dash a. Okay, it's 5.11 already. That's pretty nice. I read today that um, Danked 12 is uh, not shipping this already in his Arch Linux distribution because he found some bugs with the 5.11 kernel, but yeah, it may be different here on Manjaro Lumiris. 
So now I'm booting Manjaro with Fosh. So the great thing about this one is supposed to be that it um, has a newer version of Modern Manager and some tweaks to all those compo components involved in when you're getting a call while in deep sleep so that wake up is going to happen a lot faster. Before, I think it was good when you were at three ring turns, that's the um, or dial turns, that's what you, he he I mean, that waiting sound that you hear when you call someone, this dirt, 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 and then the pine phone would uh, ring so that you could hear it, and that led to some missed calls, because then you've got to be really quick to answer, right? Um, and this is now supposed to be at one um, of these tones, so it's really almost immediately, which is great. And honestly, there was some, there was a time where I uh, actually did not believe that that would ever happen, but it apparently happened, and now. Here we are, and I think that's quite the improvement, right? Um, it's great to see that Modem Manager sees all that work. So also what's really close, but I think hasn't been happening yet, is integrating MMS support into Modem Manager and also into um, Chatty. Uh, that's actively being worked on. So if you've been holding off for MMS support, you won't have to wait much longer. So this is the daily I image from February, February 18th again. And yeah, let's uh, go through this menu here real quick. And I was a bit impatient there. So I can't select a keyboard method oh well I can but I don't think Afghan is right for me right so uh, how about English okay so let's go with the UK English why not and then let's connect to my demo network here I must say this is quite smooth and I bet it's also running the 5.11 kernel. But let's see whether it is. By just g going to the terminal, which started really fast, especially considering that this is running from SD card. And yeah, 5.11. So that's all pretty bleeding edge. And there's a lot pre installed on Manjaro, but um, yeah, I think except for Fractal, which I personally don't use, but because it doesn't support end-to-end -end encryption, but otherwise I wouldn't have to uninstall much here, so I'm actually pretty happy with that selection of software. So let's see if Megapixels works here, but no, it doesn't, so there must be some issue with that new kernel, maybe, or in Megapixels. Um, Anyway, somewhere in between those two softwares, there's something that doesn't want to work together. So yeah, and well, I will. I don't have the time to go through all these apps, right? But what's interesting is that Nbox is pre-installed again. Um, they didn't do that for a while, and I think this is a good opportunity to quickly uh, demo some stuff in Nbox. Now, this is the Unbox Application Manager, and the apps don't um, get added here to the Fosh launcher, which I think is a good thing. Um, you can add them by uh, uh, add them manually, uh, I believe. I haven't done that yet because I haven't looked into how one would do that, but it's supposed to be possible, and that's a good thing because. You don't want to have contacts, camera, clock, and all that stuff on there, as it would be otherwise. And if you can then add the two Android apps that you use regularly, I don't know, maybe um, some messenger like Signal or Threema or um, uh, Discord or whatever it is that you need from Android, uh, and that works in Nbox, which uh, limits that subset of apps that would otherwise be applicable, um, 
that uh yeah so that that is a lot more helpful than to have a double calendar double clock and so on here and then accidentally start those uh, by swiping through the, the the app launcher and then having to wait a long time because nbox is eating all resources so uh, i'm all for this dis decision because i mean of course you can disable some of these like calculator there's no harm if you disable that uh, same goes for um, music i think and the gallery but uh, you wouldn't want to disable contacts because uh, that can be useful for those messaging apps uh, right um, yeah but yeah. so this is Android and it launched now as you can see um, Anbox is uh, working um, fairly well uh, it has been scaling for a while uh, pr pretty perfectly and there's a ton of the issues in my old Anbox videos are just gone so it's still blurry because it uh, uses Xvalent but other than that, I have to say it's really fine and this keyboard works. I usually turn off those uh, popovers, key popovers, because they uh, slow things down and are more annoying than helpful. But Nbox is okay for light messaging and stuff these days uh, and has been for a while, but I haven't demoed it so... I wanted to do this uh, now and now I'm going to turn this off. Uh, I'm going to wait a, a few moments and then I'm going to call it once I uh, believe it's uh, in deep sleep in a couple minutes. So be right back. Okay, so I waited for seven minutes. I think it should be in standby now. So I will try to call it now to see how that works. Um, yeah so here we go and okay that was really quick that is quite amazing so assuming it was in standby which it should be after that time uh, or well in deep sleep this was really amazingly quick so that's pretty great so all this eg25 modem manager uh, modem manager and kernel work whatever went on there i really um hadn't didn't have the time to research the details there but i must say that is wow that is really okay i want to have that on arch linux arm too right now Otherwise, I'm switching. <laughs> well, no, not 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 really, not immediately at least. But this is this is quite cool. Yeah, I haven't been this excited about um, Manjaro in I don't know a very long time. Oh um, well, Manjaro Fosh because I didn't use it for a long time. So how could I have been excited? But yeah, this is generally cool. So thanks to Lukas from Pine Sixty Four for pushing me to have a look at that um wow uh, so really try those uh dev images or when they publish their next beta image uh, uh that has this feature then switch to that maybe because this is generally cool and i think that's all the time i have to look at fosh here i mean we all know fosh uh we know those apps that are installed Manjaro, you can use the AUR if you want to, the Arch user repository, and install tons of software that's available uh, on Linmob apps, right? Uh, you guys know that. But uh, th this, this is uh, really, uh, I think, a, mat a massive uh, quality of life improvement. So this is really a quite quite a good distro. So congrats. Manjaro people, I'm looking forward to your next beta, so, yeah. Awesome. So let's turn this off and go over to Plasma Mobile. Last but not least, let's start with Plasma Mobile. So Plasma Mobile is going to be the default graphical shell on the Pine from going forward, and it's going to run on a Manjaro base. 
as was announced in the recent community update by Pine64. So those post-community edition Pine phones are going to come with this as the default, which is why I've been using it more and I've been using the, well, their, their, their stable image, I think it's called, uh, which only gets updates rarely. And this is the developer channel. And I was told yesterday that I should really have a look at these developer images because it would be uh, a lot better. And I was like, well, yeah, maybe. But then again, I felt like the normal version is already pretty good. Let's see how this is going to go. I'm really curious to see that. Oh, here we are. So this is a new welcome visit. I haven't seen that before, except on some image, I think, uh, for Khan shared. Okay, so yeah, this time zone thingy is nice, but everybody who's not in Asia or America is going to have to scroll a lot. Oh, just not an idea, but yeah. So let me put uh, pick Berlin here again. Uh, let's sign on to Wi-Fi here, Linmop. Enter that password. And then, oh, I can enter my name so I can say, hey, I'm Peter. My username is Linmop. My password is only digits so it's because I'm so used to this by now because it's the default on everything it's really one two three four five six it's not secure at all but I'm going to choose that another setup is complete and that was a nice wizard I like it apparently for all I know this is something that Manjaro have developed on their own without the involvement of the KDE community but so assuming that this is going to work, I must say great job. So it's doing something, I think. Waiting. Oh, there we are. Very nice. So uh, let's enter my pin. And it worked. That's very nice. Okay, so this looks like uh, this version of Plasma is actually in... No, it's not. I, I briefly felt like it might be dark mode, but it's not. So, okay, there are updates available. Which is kind of surprising because this is a daily build, but yeah, why not? So here we are now. The updates are applied. The Wi-Fi is connected and... Um, Let's see uh, what we were looking at. We were looking at Clip, which is a video app that I think I've seen before. It may have had a different name back then, but it should be a Maui Kid based video player for the Pine phone. Yeah, this is definitely Maui Kid based because it looks like that and I really would love to try it but I don't have a sample video. Okay, so I uh, just decided to use Anglefish, the browser, to download one of my videos here. I downloaded the 1080p version of this uh, fun little thing that's only on DevTube. So uh, check that out too. Um, I've got some exclusives on some of the little platforms. And yeah, so... Oh, and important thing, uh, Anglefish has adblock now uh, in this uh, version here. And that is, of course, a massive feature and it's really welcome. I'm really happy to see that um, because, well, a world without adblock is possible, but it's no fun. Okay, so this is the video. And it should open now and play best case, at least. Let's try that once more. Yeah, okay, it looks like I can add text, but that's not what I want. I want to play that video. 
Well, whatever. Um, I can try to open it from the file manager once more. But then I think clip is only a recent addition. And if it doesn't work yet, it will work eventually. And uh, I think we're all going to have um, fun with it. Don't we? So Okay, so here it plays, but that's in the file manager. And it's a bit stuttery. And apparently I didn't mute that sound there. But at least this way we can hear the keyboard. Sorry for that background hissing. That's really bad. Yeah. But anyway, so video playback uh, remains to be seen. It's definitely a work in progress. And then this is Minecraft GUI, which also is quite interesting based on Minecraft, the digital assistant that you may recall from a couple of years ago. So let's ask it, um, what are beans? And see what it makes of that. Could also try to ask like this. Mycroft, what are beans? So let's see if it answers eventually. But I I always consider these assistants uh, no more than fun toys, and it seems to be doing something, but it's not really coming to a conclusion. So this may be uh, just um, a nice demo, right? Oh, and we didn't put in a Microf Core address. So I think we need to run a Microf Core somewhere else in our local network, and this uh, can't even work, maybe. I don't actually know that, but yeah, it's definitely fun to play with, and <laughs> maybe it will eventually actually work. Um, but yeah, these are uh, great news. It's really smooth. Um, and I like that, and I look forward to what uh, Manjaro is going to be once the post community edition Pine Phone really ships because this is really looking promising. And if they polish it a bit more here and there, I think this is going to be really, really great. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you soon. Wait, no, there was something I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so the, you know my blog, right? And uh, you know that app list. But do you also know this page from where I try to list all my videos? I just noticed that I don't have them all on there, but uh, I will add those that are missing. Uh, also, you can follow me on Twitter or Mastodon. And, um, well, yeah, you know those video channels. And there's one more thing I wanted to talk about, because this week I was originally planning to do something entirely different and that is uh, making a video on Homebrew OS, but sadly uh, they aren't ready yet. So this is a distribution that's going to be based on um, Manjaro Plasma. And um, well, they are very design heavy. And uh, Jason, uh, one of the people who's really heavily involved with this, um, told me, I will put his Twitter handle in the description of this video, told me that they are looking for QML developers. So if you are kind of familiar with QML and you are, and this here looks interesting to you, please help them out. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.